Hi everybody, this is Josh with another video on Gravit Designer. In this video, we're going to be looking at using text on a path. This is a great feature for creating logos or just arched text. You can use it for all kinds of things. Let's dive right in. So probably one of the most common uses for this kind of text treatment is to create like symbols or badges or logos. So I'm going to start with an ellipse from my shapes right here. You can just hit E on the keyboard or select it from that drop down there. And to make sure I make this a perfect circle, I'm going to hold shift while I draw out a circle. There it is. I can position it right into the center. All right, now it's super easy to add text to this shape. Now, this is really the, the key part of this process is that you want your path first. To create text on a path, you want the path first so that you can add your text to it. So there's my shape. I'm just going to hit T on the keyboard. And now when I hover over my shape, you see it, it highlights in that magenta color. And when I click it on that highlight, it's going to create a new text object on that path. And you can see it. There it is. It's on the path. Just as easy as that. That's exactly what I wanted. I can change my font size here. And we can start to see it wrap around. Now, there's a lot of options and features and uh, adjustments to this. If I grab that little red handle there, I can move it around my shape. And you can see it's snapped. It's locked onto that shape. If I want to move this text, I can grab it and move it. Or I can grab the circle and move it. And they are linked together. If I don't want to see the ellipse, I can either hide it over here in the layers panel and you see I still have the text and I can still move it around and as soon as I toggle that visibility back on you can see we still have our circle there but that's a really really easy way of, of uh, maintaining the editability editability without uh, it, you know having that circle there if you don't want it there now there are some things as well that you can change about this. You can put this on the outside by default or put it on the inside of that shape. So I'm just changing that over in the appearance panel on the right hand side. I can reverse that. I can change the distance. That's the distance it is from the shape. So I can give myself kind of a little bit of padding there until it goes all the way off the canvas. I just want to mention that this is still live text. I can double click and edit this. I can change its font and all of the other attributes that you can change about your text. The character spacing, word spacing, line spacing, size, etc. Now this feature isn't just limited to circles or primitive shapes. I can grab the pen tool and draw a path just by clicking and dragging to create a very complex curve here. I'm just going to hit enter to end that line segment. Then I'll go back to the text tool, hitting T on the keyboard. Again, we can highlight that as we hover over it. And I'll click, and again, we get our text object there. And it's going to follow that curve that I drew. Look at that. I'll increase the font size here, and you can see it wrap around that curve. Again, if I click on that red handle there, I can move it along that path just like that. So you can create some very interesting and complex things. Now paths are editable and you can edit this path after the fact and you can see that the text will change as I move this path around. So imagine the possibilities for creating interesting layouts or titles Or anything that you can imagine. And we can select our text and change it to the inside if we want. I've used a lot of different programs that allow you to do text on a path. And I have to say that Gravit Designer does it in a very elegant and very simple, straightforward way. It's easy to see what I'm getting. And I have full control over everything. If I don't want to see the shape that I created or the path, just the text, I can just hide it in the layers menu and still have control over everything on my canvas. And that's how you can add text to a path in Gravit Designer. Thanks for watching. 
Bye for now.